Superheroes have enjoyed a recent surge in popularity, thanks in part to films such as Batman Begins, Iron Man, or even The Green Hornet. The presence of superhero stories offers a sort of comforting nostalgia even if you weren't alive when Spider-Man first crawled onto a syndicated strip. These stories address very complex issues such as identity or good versus evil, and I don't know anyone who hasn't at least at some point imagined what their superpower would be like and how they would use or abuse that power in order to tilt the system according to their whims. Well, most people, that is. Seriously, though, superheroes and their arch nemeses are becoming a sort of staple subgenre in YA lit. All you have to do in order to find a number of fabulous examples is stroll the stacks in order to encounter books such as Hero by Mike Lupica, another book by the same title by Perry Moore, or even Superhuman by Michael Carroll. And then you have my personal favorite, which is also my pick of the week, The Rise of Renegade X by Chelsea M. Campbell. This tale bears so much more than men in tights with their underwear bared and their capes aflutter. In the golden city in which this story is set, you will find plenty of heroes and supervillains to keep the heroes on their toes. I don't know about you, but I've been known on more than one occasion to root for a villain when I've decided that the hero is either too stupid or too pretty to save the world from perpetual peril. Meet Damien, a 16-year-old villain in the making whose own mother shoots frickin' laser beams from her eyes. Damien has just turned 16, a very important date that is marked by the appearance of either an H if you're a hero, or a V if you're a villain, on the thumb of anyone with superpowers pumping through their veins. Poor Damien has just received an incriminating X on his thumb. This means that not only is he half villain, he's half hero as well, and that his mother's got some splaining to do. Unfortunately for him, his golden boy of a father has also suddenly appeared in the picture and is determined to win Damien over to the superhero side of the spectrum. This is a devilishly fun romp during which Damien is determined to prove to his newfound family members that he is black-hearted enough to get into none other than Villmore, the academy for aspiring villains. I found it refreshing to step into the shoes of an anti-hero as opposed to the archetypal goody-goodies that are so frequently encountered in superhero lit. So whether you're a closet superhero fan or an evil mastermind in the making, I highly recommend that you check this one out from your local public library.